Adam Lerner, brooklynphotoworks.com, and today I have a video from the archives. But it's a video that's actually never been released. It's a video that I shot with Jared Poland in a portrait session that we did up in Connecticut last year around Christmas time, right after I received my medium format camera system. It was a system that I received to evaluate from Mamiya Leaf, and uh, I had barely even taken a frame with this thing. And Jared was up, and I said, "Come on, just just sit for me. Let's do a portrait." And of course, Jared obliged, and the upcoming video that you're about to watch is what came out of that. Now, there was, um, I decided to light it because it was kind of a dark day, and uh, I wanted to kind of just pop a little bit of light on Jared, so I just did a simple one light setup, and I had a LumaPro LP160 and an infrared trigger, a uh, collapsible umbrella, and a, um, and a nano stand. So, very sophisticated camera very unsophisticated lighting scenario over here. And um, I bumped the ISO on the camera up to 400, which it's not really intended for, um, which is probably a lot of the reason why I decided to process the images black and white, um, because I think that punching them up gave them a nicer look than the color, because on medium format at ISO 400, things are starting to get pretty grainy, which is hard to believe, but that's just how it goes. All right, so here you go, guys. Um, sit back and uh, check out the uh, the photo shoot I did with Jared and a medium format camera. Let's just get an ambient here. So just relax before I get the settings all set. Go for a nice low camera angle here with this wide angle lens, which I've never shot medium format with wide angle, which is kind of fun. Wow, it's pretty cool. Love the touch screen on this thing. It gives you all that info. That's pretty cool, man. So I'm just gonna use this one light here, a little infrared trigger. Keep it simple. Just gonna try to get a little bit of light on you. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather the light. So I'm just gonna kind of let this bit hit you over there. <clears throat> See how that looks. So I'm just gonna test it. Boom. Where's this at? Right now, I think I'm at 16th power, fully zoomed out of 24 millimeters. And let's just see what this does for you. It's not bad, it's pretty cool. Um, just judging from it, I think I'm gonna have to collapse that umbrella a little bit and maybe just change the angle. That's the thing about umbrellas, they really have a wide spread. See this guy. Stay there. Seems odd to kind of have it be facing the wrong direction, but the idea is to kind of emulate the idea that there's window light coming in at you. Okay, here we go. It's not bad. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. Something like that. Good thing you know what to do for a camera. That's always the same. That's, That's pretty cool. Um, do oh, here they are. I love that you can double tap on the back of the screen here, and like zooms into 100%. That looks pretty rad, man. I actually really like the look of it. The cool thing is because I've got the umbrella, you know, feathered out so much that it's really just casting like a little bit of light over to you, but it's mixing beautifully with the ambient light. It looks actually very cool. All right, so let's just cycle through a couple of these and then I'll try some different angles and some different lenses. Nice. Good look. I like it. Coffee table is cool. Give me a little bit of a, a little bit of that more intensity that you have with your eyes. I know. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Really good. You know, as much as I love the coffee table, I don't like having a big structure in front of you. I'm just going to move this guy out of our way. All right. 
here we go. So bizarre having a strap on that camera. All right, bring it back. Rein it in. Here we go. When you're ready. Nice. I like the eyes. Bring me a little more, a little more. There you go. I'm going to sit down even lower. Sweet. This look awesome, Jar. Pull back just a little bit. You know, the whole time you, you know, the interesting thing about shooting wide is that you've got to be really aware of your frame, looking at all the corners, making sure that you're not picking up strange stuff, stray stuff. Drop your hands just a little bit, yeah. I didn't mind them by your face. Yeah, there you go. These are pretty red. I like the way it just kind of is simply mixing in the light over there for you. It'd be cool. All right. I like the look off like you're doing there, but I want to kind of capture that with a different lens. So I'll swap lenses. All right. So I'm going to pop off the 45, which is like, I think, a 21 millimeter equivalent. And I'll pop on the 80, which is like a 50 millimeter equivalent in 35 millimeter speak, that is. Okay. That's it for now. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's great. Such a different animal. You're still the same animal, but looks a little bit of a different animal. Good look, I like that. I'm gonna pull back a little bit. I liked it when you kind of had that gaze out of the window bit. And again, I'm really focusing on, or thinking about trying to keep all my lines straight. Nice that you can hold that look, I like it. Keep everything the way it is and now look at camera. Bring your head toward camera. There you go. Exactly. I like the way you shook your head because you didn't like that command. Very cool. Let's do something else with your right hand instead of having a droop. No. <laughs> Um, sit, sit more, nah, that's too, boud this is not a boudoir shoot. Yeah, is that comfortable? Seems a little awkward, but we'll try it. Let me try something like that. Come in here. Come on, focus, there we go. Drop your chin just a bit. Good job. Maybe I'll try one from this angle over here. <clears throat> That's pretty red. Anyone looking out toward the window from the same spot? Yeah. All right, one at me first. Yep, yeah, that's good. I like the eyes. Hold that. Going between vertical and horizontal. 
Keeping my camera angle nice and low. Nice, I like these a lot. I'm gonna come in a little bit tighter over here. Filling the frame. <clears throat> Good eyes, I like that. Nice. You got the eyes thing going. Flip around. You see the autofocus beam hitting you? Mm -hmm. There it is. You gotta wonder after all that if it's worth the payoff. Seems like focus is an issue with it. Well, I think it's focus and low light's an issue with it. That seemed pretty cool. Just kind of rotating through a bunch of different Looks, thanks. If you want to learn a lot more about flash photography, check out the Fro Nose Photo Guide to Flash Photography. This is a three hour comprehensive guide that Jared and I made. It's a video guide that you can either get a digital download or a physical DVD copy. We go through the entire process of flash photography starting at the very, very basics with flash exposure and then we build up all the way to the point where we go on live photo shoots and take you along every step of the way.